Let us see an overview of Power BI DAX using WizLab's Cloud Sandbox. Go to Cloud Sandbox in the platform menu. Click on Start Power BI Sandbox. Select your preferred time and click on Create Sandbox Environment. Now go to your browser and search for Microsoft Remote Desktop and download it. If you're using Windows operating system, make sure to download Windows-based application. Once you downloaded the Microsoft Remote Desktop, click and install it to your PC. After your installation process, go back and click on Open Console. An RDP file will be downloaded to your computer which is Remote Desktop Protocol. Click and open the RDP file and grant the access to your camera and microphone as it required to use at the remote session. Now copy and paste the username and password to open the Remote Desktop. Now you have successfully entered into the Microsoft Remote Desktop. So you can see the Power BI in your Remote Desktop. Click and open it to get started. Now open your browser and copy and paste this link to download the DAX template. You can find this link in the video description. You need to sign into your Gmail account to access the file. After signing in, download and open the DAX template. On the right side of your screen, under Fields section click on the location and select Geo. On the below, click on Sales and select Amount. You can resize the chart however you wish. Go to Format and change the amount name to Total Amount. And change Currency as United States Dollar. Now right-click on the sales table to create new measure. And enter measure name as total boxes. Total boxes equal to, here you have to enter the DAX formula. That is sum, open bracket, sales table, boxes column. On the right side of your screen you can find visualization. Using visualization you can create graphical representations of data to visually communicate insights and patterns. You can create different types of visualizations such as charts, graphs, maps, tables, and more. These visualizations help users understand and analyze data more effectively by presenting it in a visual format that is easy to interpret. And that is how you can use Power BI using WizLab's Cloud Sandbox. Once you are done with the Power BI session, go back and select Destroy Sandbox Environment. Click on the checkbox and type Destroy to end the session.